Here's how to use two webcams at once in a Zoom meeting. You could have one webcam pointing at your face and the other one pointing down at your desk if you want to demonstrate something. You could have it pointed over your shoulder to show your audience what you see, or you could have it pointed at the audience, for example, in a hybrid meeting. With these three methods, we will go from the easiest to the most powerful method. For this first method, I'm going to place this webcam on this little mini tripod on my left here on top of my printer. This is going to be my second camera. The webcam, by the way, is a Poly Studio P5 and the tripod is a Joby Grip Tight 1. All of the gear I'm talking about is linked in the video description below. We are actually going to use that tripod also for the second technique, but with a phone instead. But now let's jump into this first one. To share content from that secondary camera, I'm going to go down here to share screen, then go into the advanced tab, and then I'm going to click right here on content from a second camera, and I'm going to click on share. Now my secondary camera is full screen, but on the screen we also have this preview of my main camera. I can either move it down or I can minimize it like that, or I can go up into the menu and I can click on hide video panels to completely remove that primary camera from my view. To bring it back, I'm going to go back into the menu and then click on show video panel and then click on there to show once again my primary camera in this little preview window. If you have more than two cameras on your system, you can cycle through them as well by clicking on this button up here, switch cameras. So it's going to cycle through firstly to my main camera, then to my OBS virtual camera, and then it's going to go back into my second camera. This second camera is now going to be full screen for everybody who's in this meeting, but you don't always want it to be full screen. We're going to solve that in the third method. The next technique for adding a second camera in your Zoom meeting is to use a smartphone. The way this works is that you join the same meeting from your smartphone and you can do it from the same Zoom account. I have now joined the same Zoom meeting also from my phone. The camera is currently off, but as soon as I tap on start camera on my phone over there, now I have my phone here as a second camera. Here's one tip to help you keep track of your different cameras. I recommend renaming at least one of your cameras. So I'm going to click on the three dots here and then tap on rename. Let's call this the Marcus Cephala second camera. If I want to make that second camera almost full screen, I can click on the three dots there and then select pin. One thing you have to do is disconnect the audio on the smartphone. If you don't do that, you will get audio feedback between the different devices. When you have your smartphone in that Zoom meeting as a separate participant, you get quite a lot more flexibility because you can use pinning and spotlighting when pinning will only make it full screen on your machine, but spotlighting will make that second camera full screen for everybody else as well. The next technique for adding a second camera in Zoom is to use OBS Studio. And this is in fact the most flexible solution. This works great in Zoom, but it also works equally well in all other video conferencing solutions, such as WebEx or Teams or Google Meet or Skype or whatever it is that you're using. I'm going to start by going into the sources section and then click on the plus button here and then select video capture device. That's the terminology that OBS Studio uses for webcams. Here I have the opportunity to name my device. My Canon camera is called the Canon M50. So I'm going to type M50 there and hit enter. In this dialog box, I can choose my camera. I'm currently looking at the preview for the Poly Studio P5, but I want to go up here and select my Canon camera instead. This is the EOS webcam utility. Once I've selected it there, I can hit OK right there. And to make this full screen, I can press Control F for full screen. Here, I also want to take the opportunity to lock my camera in place so that I don't accidentally move it. There are many different ways of adding a second camera in OBS Studio. For now, we're going to use different scenes. So on the left hand side, I'm going to rename my scene to something a little bit more meaningful. Let's call this my main scene, for example. And then I'm going to add a second scene where I'm going to add the second camera. 
So I'm going to go down here to the plus button and I'm going to call this secondary. Now let's add that second camera. Click on plus down here under sources, then video capture device. My second camera is called the Poly Studio P5. And as this dialog box opens, it has in fact already been selected. So I'm going to click OK right there. But you can see that this is not the full size camera. So let's go back into the properties right there and configure this correctly. So in this dialog box, I'm going to scroll down to the resolution and FPS type, and I'm going to select custom instead of the device default. And now this resolution drop down here will allow me to select the actual resolution that I want, which is 1920 by 1080. Now that I've selected the correct resolution, the camera fills my entire screen. Let's lock that in place as well so that we don't accidentally move it. And now we have these two scenes and I can switch between them just by clicking on the scenes right here. So this is the main scene and the secondary scene. Let's bring this over to zoom. First, I'm going to go to the right hand side of OBS Studio and click on Start Virtual Camera. And here inside of Zoom, I'm going to go down to the video options, select the OBS Virtual Camera and start it. And now what we created in OBS Studio will come through. Let me switch in OBS Studio to the main scene. And now that has been updated inside of Zoom as well. But in OBS Studio, you can do so much more than just two simple scenes that each have a camera in them. Let's create another scene that has both cameras in the same scene. I'm going to go down to the scenes list here, click on plus, and I'm going to call this the multi cam scene. Then I'm going to add both of my cameras into this scene by clicking on plus right there, video capture device. And because I've already added my Canon M50 and my Poly Studio P5, they are available here in the list. So let's start by adding the M50 there. And then I'm going to press Control F to make it full screen. Then I'm going to go back to add a video capture device. I'm going to click on P5 right there and add that as well. Now, if I want to switch between these two, one way to do it is actually just to click on the eye icon here to hide the Poly Studio P5. And this is one way to switch between the cameras and whatever I do here will then be shown inside of Zoom as well. But we can do so much more with OBS Studio. Let's put both of these cameras side by side. I'm going to start by grabbing my Canon M50 here and moving it a little bit to the left. Then I'm going to activate the Poly Studio P5, grab that and move that over to the right hand side. Then I'm going to hold down the Alt key on my keyboard to crop out the left hand side of the Poly Studio P5. There we go. And now we have a multi camera setup with two cameras in the same scene. Let's go back into Zoom to see how it looks. And this is now our multi camera output right here inside of Zoom video conferencing. We can also add some separation between the two cameras. I'm going to start by cropping out the right hand side of my Canon M50 here. And then I'm going to select the other camera here and cut out a portion of that as well. Then I'm going to add a little bit of a color background. It's going to be called the background. The color I'm going to select right here is going to be forest biome. And I'm going to click OK there. And to get this behind the two cameras, all I have to do is click on it on this list here and then put it down at the bottom. Now we have a nice color border separating our two cameras. Let's switch back to Zoom. And as expected, we now have exactly the same layout in Zoom. One of my favorite things to do with OBS Studio is to share slides like this or like this. There is so much flexibility in OBS Studio. If you want to copy this layout, go to marcuspresents.com slash OBS. When you use the OBS virtual camera, by default, it will only fill your own little zoom frame, but you can go full screen as well. Click or tap the screen right here to watch my dedicated video that covers five different ways of going full screen with the OBS virtual camera. Thank you for watching. My name is Marcus Seppala. I will see you in the next video.